So you think there's no such thing as too much trend baloney? I can guarantee if you eat too much of the sandwiches, you're going to regret it. You're not going to feel good. And when you get older, maybe you won't get older. Coach Greg, and apparently there's no such thing as too much trend baloney sandwiches. Apparently you can't eat too many of them. The more the merrier. So I'm watching a video by Formula Sec Initiated. It's called Too Much Trend Balloon. True or false? And he literally says false. I mean, you thought he'd say, of course it's true, but he says it's false. And then he goes and explains why and how to do it properly so that you can do abusive doses with no ill effect on the body. I'm going to watch the video and I'm going to explain just how moronic this really is and teach you, don't listen to this guy. Are you kidding me? Can't believe he made this video and it's serious. It's not April Fool's. So let's watch the video and see just what you shouldn't do. It's literally one of the best compounds we can take, or at least I can take, that gives me the best results in terms of aesthetics and image. So I'm not debating them here. The trend bologna sandwiches, they are freaking amazing. They can transform your physique. Put on tons of muscle, it's very, very strong. You're looking to cut or bulk, it can put on a ton of muscle. But is there in fact a point where you take too much? A lot of guys have a weird fear about this specific compound. It doesn't matter if it's on the acetate or enanthate. It's not weird, it's justified. How many of you have actually taken trend? 10 times or more. How many of you felt like garbage on trend? It is horrible, horror awful. It's one of the worst things you could take for your health. And to say you could take any dose you want, that is irresponsible. A lot of people out there in terms of threads and forums and their misunderstanding of this compound, they truly believe that it's this big, bad, scary compound. Yeah, it is a big, bad, scary compound and you should be at a super advanced level to take it. Yeah, they're right. Oh, I'm a big hitter. I just did one cycle. Time to hop on the trend bologna sandwich. I need that. No, you don't. You shouldn't take that at all. Trend bologna's up here. You don't take it unless you need it. Unless you've gone through the different phases with weaker compounds and you can't make any gains without it. Yeah, it works. But you don't take the most advanced compound and take it early on in your career makes no sense. I gotta do a couple of basic cycles here and there, either TRT or some kind of basic simple beginner cycle, yeah. Just because you've used HRT or done a beginner cycle doesn't mean you're ready for the trend baloney sandwich. Because here's the thing, in terms of the bad sides, what's the worst thing that could really happen? You could get an infection, you could die, you could get a heart attack, a stroke. There's a lot of horrible things that can happen. You could shut down your endocrine system and not produce testosterone and eat HRT for the rest of your life. What's the worst thing that could happen? Sweating? I've already watched the video. He pretty much says, other than sweating, it's pretty good. That is just a sweat. He is out to lunch ridiculous. And if you watch this video, I hope you didn't listen to him and take his advice. Blood pressure. Yes, can that happen? Can that elevate? Yes, but I could just easily donate blood and take Cialis or aspirin, boom. He thinks, oh, high blood pressure. I could just donate blood, take Cialis or aspirin. Really, it's that simple. Blood pressure, oh, let's not panic about that. Let's not really worry about blood pressure, one of the leading causes of cardiovascular disease. Let's just take some Cialis, uh, aspirin, uh, donate blood. If you have high blood pressure from taking Trend, you need to stop taking Trend. You don't take aspirin or Cialis. Donate some blood. Are you kidding me? Imagine listening to this advice. Now the whole insomnia thing, I could easily solve that by cutting out the carbs about four or five hours before I go to sleep. And then of course taking Trend sleep right before I go to bed. And what about insomnia? You seen Brandon Harding's video, he can't sleep. Day after he took it, his sleep's a mess. Oh, he can easily solve that. It, it's easy. Let's just cut out carbs five hours before bed. And it's solved. Or take trend sleep. Are you kidding me?
You know how many diets I've done while taking Tren? You think I'm eating a bunch of carbs before bed? You think you can solve Trensomnia from cutting out carbs five hours before bed? And take Tren sleep. Do you know the kind of sleeping pills I've had to abuse to get to sleep while abusing Tren? I've been prescribed three different kinds of sleeping pills from the doctor just because I can't sleep. And why can't I sleep? Tren. But his solution, probably just take some like over-the-counter sleeping pill and uh, cut out the carbs and insomnia's over. And you think this guy has a secret to take in trend? You, you just listen to him and all your problems go away? Now the whole core temperature, really, that's super easy to solve. Floor fan, literally like freaking right here, right next to me. Oh, no problem, don't worry about that. Put a fan in front of you, a fan on top of you, put the air conditioning down to 71 degrees and have a towel under you because you're gonna sweat through and that should clear it up. And oh yeah, and the sweating that causes acne, just shower more. Oh, and you sweat throughout the day and that's gonna be a problem, but unless you work in an office job and people notice you, it's okay. He's downplaying the side effects of trend, acting like it's not a big deal. Does it sound like a big deal to you? And like I said before, man, there is no such thing as too high of a trend. How much do you think those IFBB pros are taking? Well, this IFBB pro took 700 milligrams a week for one week and couldn't handle it. Had to lower the dose. The anxiety through the roof, such an uncomfortable feeling. Felt like you had a furnace pumping under your chest. Felt horrible, miserable, couldn't wait for the cycle to end. You think you're gonna be on PDs, you're gonna feel amazing and feel great and build up the muscle and have an incredible body. Imagine taking a dose so high that you can't wait for 10. Can't wait for 10. Does that sound fun? If it's fun, do you want a 10 or do you want it to keep going? Oh, I can't wait to get the sexy time over it. Can't wait for 10, get it out of the way. If it's fun, you want it to last as long as you can. Think about it. So I had to lower the dose to 500, which was the maximum amount I could tolerate, that I could even handle. Wasn't fun, livable, barely. I could barely handle it. So you think there's no such thing as too much trend baloney? I can guarantee if you eat too much of the sandwiches, you're going to regret it. You're not gonna feel good. And when you get older, maybe you won't get older. That is the worst case scenario. The highest I've ever taken trend is within a gram and a half to two grams a week. That's two to three times more than the maximum I ever took for one week. Think about it. Does that sound safe? Does that sound healthy? If it affected me this much, and I'm going to argue with you that I can actually handle it quite a bit. I get my blood work back, taking these crazy doses, and I'm actually fairly healthy. I, my blood work, when I used to take these things, uh, wasn't bad, wasn't great, wasn't horrible. I do a lot of cardio, I'm a fit person. Imagine, you're overweight, you're force feeding, you throw in this much trend baloney, and you don't think you're gonna have a negative health consequences. That's not gonna shorten your life dramatically. I'm not talking about take a couple weeks off, I'm talking about years, decades. The biggest battle that I had personally myself when it comes to taking the higher echelon of trend was the core temperature. I was sweating like crazy. It felt like I was on DNP. Think of it. He's literally saying it felt like he was on DNP. Full disclaimer, never took DNP, will never take it. I've done videos on this in the past, just how dangerous this is. Do you know what DNP is? Do you know about that dangerous fat burner? About how it increases your core temperature? He's comparing this to that. Got really awkward, okay, when um, I would be in certain social settings and I didn't have a fan on me, I didn't have a setting or... Yeah, if I never had a fan on me and I was around other people, it was embarrassing. But other than that, it's, it's great. You know, I just have to donate blood and take medication, cut out my carbs five hours before, take the trend sleep and uh, sleep on a towel and have a fan here, fan there, and uh, sweating all day. No problem though, no, nothing at all. But yet again, that's a small price I'm willing to pay in order for me to use the best cutting agent ever. And I'm looking at him in this video, and he's not even as lean as Coach Greg. He's literally abusing this drug, taking years off his life, and he's not shredded. The best cutting drug, he's not shredded. 
using it at the craziest, highest doses, and he's done all these drugs, DNP, T3, all of it. Not even as lean as Coach Greg, who's on 120 milligrams of test a week. What's the difference? I have a cookbook. Rather than abusing all these drugs to be lean, why don't you eat in a calorie deficit and then main gain? Why don't you eat delicious meals that keep you full and satisfied and taste amazing? You don't have to abuse cutting drugs to be lean. You don't. You don't. And if you're not sleeping and you have insomnia and you feel like shit all the time, do you really think that trend is working? Do you really think that the higher the dose, the better? No. If a little is good and more is great, a lot doesn't mean greater. There's a law of diminishing returns. It gets better for a while and then eventually it gets worse. If you start doing 2,000 milligrams a week, going to be worse. You're not going to build more muscle. You're going to build less. Because you're feeling so shitty, you can't train, can't sleep, feel like garbage. When you abuse things, they don't work anymore. Too much of a good thing. And this isn't a good thing, it's a bad thing. Too much of a bad thing is a lot worse. Is there such thing as too high of a trend in a certain work setting? Of course, if I work in a certain office environment, I would be sweating like crazy. So he wants to clarify, you can in fact take too much of the trend bologna sandwich if you work in an office setting, because you're gonna sweat. But if you're not in office sweating, that sky's the limit. The beauty about trend too, at least from my perspective, there's no such thing as a, a diminishing return. There is diminishing returns. If you take too much, the law of diminishing turns applies. It applies to everything. Going from three to 600 milligrams of test a week, you can double your gains. Go with that. Oh, I can go with that. It's not bad. But going from 600 to 12, you're not going to double your gains. Going from 12 to 2400, you really think you're going to have increased gains? Eventually it gets worse. Let's exaggerate. 2400 to 4800 to 9600. You think you can take 10 grams of test a week and get more gains? Eventually it just kills you. You can't handle it. The higher I go, the more benefits I got out of it. But I just have to remember the tolerance level. Take as much as you can, as long as you can sleep. And as long as you can handle the sweating and you got a fan, just take more. The more the merrier. No. If you were going to take this, which you shouldn't, and I am not a doctor, I'm not telling you to take trend. Have you watched this video? Does it sound like I'm promoting its use? If you do take it, the less you take, the better. Take the lowest dose possible. The lowest dose that makes you happy. And if you feel any side effects, it's too much. Once you feel you might have some insomnia, once you feel a little shitty, once you start sweating, it's too much. Lower the dose. Do so only with the advice of your doctor. Don't take trend and don't listen to this guy. Does he make sense? It's the only drug that you take, the more the better. Every other drug that I've taken, the more doesn't help. But with trend, the more the better. No. With every drug, more is going to feel better for a little bit. And then you take too much, it's bad. Every drug, including rec drugs. Check your rec drugs, you take too much, it's called an OD. You want an OD? Is that a good thing? The more you can handle, the better. Just take all of it. But again, there's no bad consequences as long as I'm actually doing the right things, what I need to do. I'm telling you, you do not know what those bad consequences actually are. You don't know what it's doing to your heart. You don't know what it's doing to your health. You don't know, you might have just shortened your life by 10 years, even though your blood work says, oh, it's okay. It is not okay. This is spews for views, telling people that as long as they do the safety protocols, it's safe to abuse trend in high doses. It is not, it's not safe. Think about it. Is this actually good quality scientific information? Or is this spews for views telling people what they wanna hear, not what they need to hear? They want to hear they can take a lot of trend and do it safely as long as they're doing safety protocols. What they need to hear is if you abuse trend, no matter what you do, it's bad for you. You see what I do? This is Coach Greg's channel. This is what I do calling out the bullshit. You know, summer coming up right now, it's pretty much one of the best, if not the 
compound that I need to take if I am looking to shred down, look good, single digit body fat. So you say it's time to cut up, summer's around the corner, I need trend because it's so much easier. And can you do it? Well, maybe you could do it, I don't know, but I need it. He doesn't need my cookbook is what he needs. He doesn't need trend, he needs a calorie deficit. It's literally that easy. You don't need trend to get shredded. Yeah, it's gonna help you have bigger muscles. Of course it is. So are other PDs. But you don't need trend, especially in high doses, to get a lean physique for summer. You could literally do it natural. Never seen anyone natural with a six pack on the beach before? Of course, with trend, you're gonna have a bigger body with the six pack, but you still have to put in the work, you still have to diet, be in a deficit. I would argue that my cookbook, without question, is going to help you more to get your lean physique for summer than a trend bologna sandwich. Because guess what? Even with the trend bologna sandwich, you still need to be in a deficit. And if you don't eat in a deficit, you're not gonna be shredded. But with the cookbook giving you the low calorie alternatives, gonna help you be in a deficit and be full. Makes sense? Hopefully that clears it up. Ending it here. GregJuset.com for coaching. Greg Juset IP Pro. Bloops. Watch one of those. Subscribe. Click the bell button. Buy one of the cookbooks, the training book, the coaching plan. Follow me on the gram, the talk. And until next time, I am out. Is that a song? DNP. No. TMT. TMT. Yeah, that's the song. It was close.